Hey team, so today we're gonna to go over how to fit for crutches. And there's a certain way that you wanna do this because a lot of times you see people that are all slumped over when they're trying to walk with their crutches or they're so high that it's jammed up into their armpit and they're starting to get rubbed underneath the armpit or even their hand can go asleep. So if not done properly, it can lead to a lot of secondary issues. One being Saturday night palsy where the nerves underneath the arm is it getting compressed and you're getting tingling in the hand that can make your arm go dead. The other thing that you get that's more common than Saturday night palsy is back pain, hip pain, ankle pain, knee pain, because we're not able to walk the way that we should. So let's go over how to fit your crutch. Standard crutch, this is a uh, unique crutch that you'll see with a lot of sporting events. It goes this way into the body, has a nice ergonomic handle for the hand as well. So and it has a little spring on the end of it. So these are kind of nice for, uh, for an athlete, but not for everyone. First thing that we wanna do is we wanna stand really tall and we wanna to go to where our toe breaks. Where our toe breaks in the shoe, we wanna go out two or three inches and that's our starting position for measuring our crutch. So we take two fingers, about two inches, and standing nice and tall, we want two inches be between the top of the crutch to the top of the armpit. It shouldn't be jammed up in here and it also shouldn't be so low that it's down below. We want it to be nice and, and in, into the armpit about two inches space. That way the crutch isn't gonna fall behind us but also isn't gonna jam up into our armpit. The other thing that we want is we want our wrist to be right at, if I'm standing tall, our wrist is gonna be right at the handle. If either of those aren't true, you need to adjust them. You need to move the leg down or up or the handle up or down. But the reason that we have it at wrist height is because now when I hold on to it, see how my elbow is about 30 degrees? So as I'm walking, I can lift my body off the crutch. We should not be resting the crutch up in the armpit as we walk. That again leads to Saturday night palsy and those type of nerve related injuries into the armpit. What we wanna do is use that arm to pinch the crutch in while my tricep does the work of lifting me as I go through. So this is how to properly fit for a crutch. Again, two inches out from our toe break, two inches out, standing tall, two fingers underneath between the top of the crutch and the top of the armpit. The wrist should be at the handle and away you go. All right, team, thanks for watching today on how to properly fit for crutches. Hopefully that helps you in the near future to be able to avoid all the secondary issues that come from using crutches. So thanks again, team, for watching. And as always, keep moving.